Hey everybody, it's snowing out, so I figured I'd do just a casual vlog about this YouTube channel. I'm about to hit, I think it's February 4th today, I'm about to hit two major milestones, I think, for the YouTube channel. If you've been following me for a while, you know I, it was a dead channel. This channel I had sort of left collecting dust for years, in fact. I had one of my assistants in 2008 load up a huge amount of videos, and then occasionally I'd throw up some videos, but I didn't really care. But about a year and a half ago, I said, okay, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's see what we can do with this channel. So I took it from 10,000 subs. And I think by the end of the day today, I'm going to have 50,000 subs, which is kind of cool. And uh, another milestone is one of my videos, a video I did two and a half months ago on C++. And it has, it's, it's just about 400,000 views, just as that video. So, you know, compared to PewDiePie or whatever, the other big names out there, it ain't much. But for a tech video... It's pretty good for two and a half months, and it's still going strong. So it goes to show where you put your effort is where you're going to find yourself. So I did the YouTube thing just as a hobby to practice speaking, get a little bit of a word out. But I have to tell you, I enjoy it. And what I try to do with this channel is bring to it what you don't see elsewhere. My goal is to basically teach what I've learned over the last 20 odd years as a developer in 28 years as a business entrepreneur, a business owner entrepreneur. So I bring that to the mix. I bring that experience. That's why I have my foundation training and all that kind of stuff, which will teach you how to be a full stack web designer, web developer at a professional level. But why people ask me, why don't I do this package here? Why don't I do this new library here, a tutorial on this or a tutorial on that? Well, because I don't need to. What was needed in the marketplace was something that taught the foundation and the core properly, number one, and number two, something that taught uh, good developer skills from the point of view of a highly experienced developer. Most of the tutorials out there are taught by people who are juniors uh, and people who are academics. So I bring that real world coding experience into it. I bring that business experience into this when I look at languages, I look at technologies, I'm always considering the business end of it as much as I am the technical end of it. Whereas the 99% of the people I see out there when they talk about technology, they're just talking about you know, the technical aspect of it. They'll, they'll argue about JavaScript versus uh, Java or JavaScript versus PHP or what out, whatever, just purely on technical merits. And that's fine, but that's just half the picture because anybody knows who's an experienced developer, any language, out there today, any of the modern ones out there today, they're all capable. They're all ca you can produce great apps, great software with any of them. It just depends on what type of work you want to do. You're not going to use C++ to create web apps. That would be silly, even though C++ is a very powerful, capable language. No, you would use PHP, you would use Java, you would use C Sharp with ASP.NET, you would use Ruby with Rails maybe, you would use Python with Django, but you wouldn't use C++ to do that. You get the idea. So the message I try to convey in this channel is, A, when you're looking at tech, consider the business end, consider the technical end. B, try not to be a language or technology zealot, be flexible. And I'm trying to teach real world experience that only 20 odd years of experience can teach you. So yeah, you could take 20 years to learn this stuff on your own, or you can watch my vlogs and gained and benefit from my experience going back to the 90s. Anyway, milestone day today, nearly 50,000 subs, and a single video that's just shy of 400,000 views. Not bad. All right, we'll talk soon.